Hello! So I've been off today and went into Leeds and I went to Lush. So I've been shopping and I'll show you what I've got. So I recently um, tried a face mask from Home Bargains and I thought I'll treat myself to a Lush face mask. And I've got Cupcake which is a fresh face mask and it says, this is what it says, chocolate heaven for oily and teenage skin. Helps absorb excess oil and calm breakouts. Cocoa butter, linseed and cocoa powder soften with balancing peppermint, spearmint and sandalwood oils. So you've got to keep it in the fridge because it's fresh. Apparently it lasts for up to four weeks and if I can get the lid off and it screws, it doesn't pull. 75 grams, it was £5.95. It looks like that. So as you'd expect, it's chocolatey. And I think it smells good enough to eat. Dean says that it, he doesn't think it smells of anything. But it's, to me it smells like mint chocolate. And um, she put a bit on my back of my skin, on my hand. And it's quite grainy, so there's something in there that's grainy. Um, and I can't wait to try that. So on Sunday, I'll be having a bath and giving myself a face mask. And it says it's vegan. <clears throat> you take it out of the fridge, apply a generous layer over the face, avoiding the eyes. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes, then wash off with warm water. Do not eat this delicious chocolate face mask. So I shall, when I do that, I'll do a review and let you know what I think. See if it actually does anything to my skin. And they are, if you can see them, I don't think you can. The ingredients, and it was made by somebody called... Rachel. So that is the first thing and then I thought I'll get a bath ballistic bath bomb and this one's Space Girl which you all know what that looks like. I don't know if I can show you. It's sealed up. Again I'll do a review on this one when I do use it and I might even use this on Sunday. It smells I think it smells like Parma Violets. Um, it's purple, shaped like a spaceship. It's got glittery bits on it, and my bath's going to be glittery. Some glitter all over the sofa. Just put it back in. And bits of glitter going everywhere. So. Get the bath full of water before launching your spaceship shaped ballistic. Whizzing it round the bathroom, making shum shum noises is optional. <laughs> it doesn't add anything to the water, but it does make bath time a bit more fun. So I'll do a review on that one as well. And then there was... Then there was um, a lucky dip, which the money went to charity. Um, I think to a mental health charity in Leeds. And it was a pound. And Dean had a go and he pulled out a sample of Sultana of Soap. Which says, the hard part of using our soap is deciding, deciding which of the many to use. Once you've made your choice, grab it, take a firm grip and rub it on a wet body. So... It's nicely wrapped up. I don't know how much in weight this is, but it's probably just a usual sample size. I don't know. I've not bought soap from there before. And looks like that. It's just a small. And the top of it looks like that. I'm guessing, guessing there's sultanas in the top. And it smells lovely. I don't know in particular what that smells like. So, it smells 
nice anyway. So we'll be using that to wash our hands. And she gave me a Lush Times because I'm going to go back hopefully and have a, a consultation. So I'll just have a look and see what's supposed to be in that soap. Based on a severely scrummy Italian nougat. Mark loves. We've replicated the same softness in soap form using olibanum oil which hydrates dry cracked and sore skin and coats it in a thin layer of subtle black currant loveliness. And you feel this regal, why use anything else? So I don't really know what that's all about to be honest. Um, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, cocoa, dried apricots, dried currants, glycerin, dried cranberries, olibanum oil, bergamot oil, and so salty water. So the bits on the top are dried currants, dried sultanas. No, they're not. I'm lying. Dried carrot. I can't even speak. Dried currants, dried cranberries, and uh, dried apricots. So there you go. That's what's in the soap. If I was to pick the soap, I probably wouldn't have picked that one. But there you go. That's what we ended up with. So, all together today, the stuff that we purchased was £8.05 and five pence for the bath bomb and the face mask. Um, but it cost a pound for the Lucky Dip soap. So, there you go. We went to Leeds. And I'll do some reviews once I get them used. <laughs> 